Hey guys, long time no see. Today I decided to film a get ready with me as you can tell by the title. I recently seem to continue paring down my makeup more and more and more all the time. And now I'm sort of just working out of one makeup bag, which for me is a big deal because I normally have like drawers of stuff, but I'm trying to pare things down, simplify things, and I thought I would just share with you some of my favorite products, how I'm doing my makeup recently, and what I love so much that it made it into my little makeup bag here. I am finishing up my coffee for the morning. I already cleanse and moisturize my skin. I need some lip balm. This is just a Blistex one. I got this in a like a three pack. Oh, my lips are so dry. And then I'm gonna look silly kind of the whole time. What I like to do when I get ready is I already gave myself a blowout here, but I like my bangs to be very swoopy. And what helps them, I'm using the viewfinder because I didn't bring an actual mirror in here. Um, so I just take my small little section here of bang and just roll it up in a Velcro roller and let it sit like that the whole time I'm doing my makeup and then the kind of swoopy effect will last all day whereas when I blow dry my hair it looks good at first but it doesn't always stand the test of time. So this helps. So I just, and sometimes I put a small one back here, but I don't really feel like I need that today. So I'm not gonna bother. This is a Sonia Kashuk makeup bag. I've had it for some time. It's kind of dirty as makeup bags <laughs> tend to get, but it does have a pocket up here and a little spot here for brushes. But I only really like to put my brushes in here when I'm traveling with this bag. I really like to just keep them like in a jar or something for day to day. Otherwise, I'm flipping back and forth and it's kind of a pain and things go everywhere. I'm using my Milani eyeshadow primer. I do have pretty oily, creasy eyelids and I've been using this for years at this point because it's the only thing that keeps my eyeshadow from creasing. And I'm gonna go in with my foundation. My favorite recently has been the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Um, I also really like the NYX Total Control. This is really pretty high coverage, but it's got a very thin consistency to it, so I really like that. But I'm just liking a more natural look to my skin. Actually, first I'm gonna do my concealer. So for my concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in the neutralizer shade. So it's got quite a yellow undertone to it. And I do have a little bit of sunless tanner on right now, so it works well for that. But I also have the brightener shade, which is more pink, and that is good for when I'm really fair. Um, my skin broke out really bad, but it's all healed up. It's just still kind of red. So I'm going to just put some of that on there. But I've been filming on my other channel a lot and not doing much here because I only have so much time in the days. So uh, my other channel is all about my weight loss and what I eat in a day and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll link it below but I thought maybe I could get on here every now and then and at least do something. Now I'm going in with my foundation. So my skin, I've noticed, <laughs> has been changing and I'm seeing more fine lines and it's not a bad thing, but my skin does just look different. And I find that with my makeup, less is definitely more. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I just, I used to have so much fun with all the makeup and I wore a lot of it and now I kind of just feel like a clown when I do that. And I also feel like I just look old. <laughs> like my skin just looks not, it's very best. So less is more for me these days. It's how I feel my most confident. 
like you can still see a little bit of blemishes I don't mind that too much but if I do want to cover them just a little bit more I bring out just a little bit more foundation and add it to just those spots I'm using a dampened real technique sponge to apply my foundation because it applies it a little bit more sheer and also I think using a damp sponge just adds a little bit more glow to whatever you're using. Now I'm going to kind of let my makeup just set for a bit and I'm going to move on to my eyes for a moment. I have my Tartlet in Bloom palette. It's just a very neutral color palette and then I also keep this little Smashbox palette in a blaze and this is a very warm toned color palette so I love warm tones. I'm just starting out with a fluffy brush and the light creamy shade here. That just kind of sets my eyeshadow primer and also adds a little bit of coverage. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and kind of just go back and forth between these two colors. Do you guys find that your makeup style changes over time? It's so funny to me what I feel confident in now versus what I used to like. I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's just kind of funny. I still have a ton of makeup in my bathroom, but we are decluttering this weekend. And I think pretty much all of that is going to be going away. I've been working out of this makeup bag for a week or a little longer and I don't seem to be missing everything else. Putting a little bit of that just under the eye as well. Now that's all I'm doing for that. I'm going to use this jumbo eye pencil from NYX in the color yogurt. These used to be so popular on YouTube. I remember the white one in the shade Milk was so popular and now nobody uses these anymore, but I still love them. Now I'm just grabbing another fluffy brush and dipping into the lightest shimmery shade and just dab over that. Now I'm using a little bit of eyeliner. This is a Rimmel liner in the color Copper Bling. It's kind of a bronzy, shimmery brown. Um, I thought I would really like this shimmer in this more than I do, but it doesn't bother me at the same time, so I just keep using it. So we're dog sitting this weekend, or actually not this weekend, for a whole week. And we have a small dog. He's, he's a little mutt, <laughs> but he looks to me most like a Jack Russell. So we're used to this little small dog and the dog we are dog sitting. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and the darkest brown here. Well, not the darkest brown, I'm taking this brown. Um, so we're used to a pretty small dog and this dog is quite large and it's very <laughs> different. Last night I was trying to get some things done and it just felt like I was babysitting toddlers the whole night, like running back and forth, trying to see what they're doing and trying to get done what I was doing. I felt like I got a tiny taste of what it's going to be like to have kids. <laughs> For mascara, I love this L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I do have to use waterproof mascara because my eyelashes are so straight they almost point down and they won't stay curled with just a regular mascara. So I'm getting this all over the place so I'll have to clean myself back up, but that's fine. I don't like too, too much of this on the lower lash line, but I like a little. And I also a lot of times like to put a white liner in my lower uh, waterline, but I haven't been taking the time to do that recently, but it does look nice. I'm going to take the same brown liner and just kind of line right in that lash line. 
I grabbed a couple of cotton buds and I'm just gonna clean up my mascara mess. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and if I fill them in using powder and a brush, I will actually just mix these two colors together and that works well. But recently I haven't been wanting my eyebrows that bold. So what I've been using is just this NYX eyebrow pencil. It looks a lot like the Anastasia brow is. And this eyebrow has a lot less hair than this eyebrow. So I start with this one and I just kind of lightly fill in the sparse areas. And usually when I use a pencil like this, they don't ever look completely perfect. But that's kind of the point. I don't want them to look so filled in anymore. Maybe I'll change my mind in a couple weeks, but for now, this is what I'm doing. Now I'm going to move on to my face again. I love liquid and cream highlighters. I think they look really a lot more natural on the skin. This one is new to me. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the color Halo Goodbye. This one is a little bit light. It's very kind of like a light pink color. And I don't really think it looks bad, but I do think maybe a different color might look a little bit better on my skin, but whatever. We'll just make it work. Now, I love using a cream blush. I do have a few other products in here. Like I have a ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. This is great for when my skin is really fair. Love that. And then for blush, I probably shouldn't have this anymore. I've had it for a long time. This is Milani Luminoso. It's the most perfect peachy blush. It's got a little bit of a glow to it. Uh, what I've been doing recently for blush is a cream blush because it looks so natural on the skin. This one is from e.l.f. and it's in the color Soft Peach. I actually found this at my Ulta. I didn't know they were carrying e.l.f. I feel like every time I go in there, they have some new line, but then they get rid of some others so okay now I'm going to powder my skin and I like to wait to powder my skin until I've done all my cream products because those will not apply nicely over powder I'm just gonna make sure my forehead is so creasy and I want to make sure I blend that back out before I set it with powder I told my husband a few months, a couple months ago that I was going to get Botox in my forehead. I'm using this Laura Geller powder. This is the Balance and Brighten uh, powder foundation. This is in the color Fair, but the color Porcelain is really light. And this one works when I have a little bit more color to my skin like I do right now. Um, but I had told my husband, be ready, I'm getting Botox because I'm seeing like the fine lines down here and then my forehead has always had wrinkles like that but I think well they're just gonna get worse as I get older by the way I'm literally dabbing my brush once like that I'm not applying a lot of this but I've decided I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to embrace my face as it is and as I get older because maybe this isn't the case for all women but I see so many women that clearly have Botox and fillers and you can always tell and I don't I don't like that. I want to look like myself. So I'm just embracing it. And now that I have a little bit of powder on my skin, I'm going to add some contour bronzer. So I've got a couple different options. I have this Becca bronzer in the color Bally Sands. And this is really pretty, but it's not super pigmented, which is kind of nice um, because it builds up nicely and it doesn't get crazy looking. But this works really well when I have 
fair skin. And then I have this ColourPop bronzer. This one's a lot darker. This doesn't even say what color it is. So I don't know what this is, but it's a ColourPop bronzer. I think I'm gonna use the ColourPop one today, but just like with the powder, I'm dabbing it in once and kind of tapping off the excess before I go in because I don't wanna look crazy. So instead of like going crazy with my bronzer and contour, I take this little brush, I got it on Amazon for like $8, and I just put it right back here to add a little bit of depth. Sometimes a little bit on my nose. That is it. I just add a tiny bit. I don't wanna look obvious. And then for setting spray, this is, well, this was the Mario Badescu Cucumber and Green Tea Face Spray, and then I just added my own glycerin to it. And then that ran out one morning, so I just filled this up with some filtered water and more glycerin, and it works just fine. So I need to pick up a new Mario Badescu one because they smell really nice, but this works just fine in the meantime gonna spray that all over kind of sets the makeup and melts it all together but it also adds a little bit of a glow to the skin and then I like to use some brow gel NYX control freak is a really good one sometimes I add a little bit more uh, a little bit of a powder highlighter this is Wet n Wild in the color Precious Petals. And I'll just put this on a fan brush, lightly dab it in, and just go over that. Um, sometimes I like to do that if I have a little bit of a tan just to, cause this has a little bit more warmth in it than the cream highlighter I used. So I think that looks good. Now, the only thing to do is lips. This is the Maybelline lipstick in the color Lust for Blush. It's my absolute favorite lipstick of all. It always looks good. So I'm just kind of dabbing that on. And that looks really nice all by itself. But I do like to add a gloss sometimes. I'm just pulling one out of my bag. My favorite glosses are the NYX Butter Glosses. I have a hair on my lip. I have a few different colors of these. This one is in the shade Madeline, and this one's kind of like a brownie nude. It's not my most favorite color, but it's fine. So I like to add some gloss to that lipstick sometimes because I think gloss just looks very fresh. Okay, that is it for my face, I think. For my hair, let me see if I can get a mirror here to see. Pull this out, and this is going to maybe look very dramatic when I do this, but it'll tone down a little bit throughout the day, but it'll still have a little bit of that swoop that I like. So you see how dramatic that is? It'll fall, but if I don't do the Velcro roller, sometimes it falls and it just doesn't have a swoop anymore. So this is how I do this. And also on second day hair, I will put my Velcro rollers in and that gets my hair back in decent shape. So my trick for that, not that you asked, but my trick for that is at night, um, if I've had my hair up for my workout or something, I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So I will pull my hair out of whatever band it might be up in and then let it relax overnight so it doesn't have a bunch of kinks in the morning because you can't really do much about that. So I'll let it relax overnight and then pop my Velcro rollers back in. I am using some texture spray. This is, I don't know, this is OGX brand, I think. I don't really know. This is the Botifying and Bamboo Fiberful Tousle Spray. So this is a little bit different for me because it's a texture spray, but it's not a dry texture spray. 
spray that throughout and then just kind of get my hands in there. And then I just want to smooth out a little bit of it. I didn't bring any hairspray in here, so I'm gonna have to do that really quickly when I step out of here. But the last thing I'm doing is some shine spray. This is the Orlando Pita Play. I don't know, I'm not familiar with this brand, but I found it at Marshall's. It smells good. Every time I use this, my husband tells me how good I smell. And it's just my hair stuff. All right, I am all ready to go. Thank you so much for getting ready with me and I hope to see you soon. Bye.